I'm Crystal, and I live with my husband Alex and our cat Riley. Despite living with lupus, I try to enjoy life to its fullest. So come share in life's big and little moments with me. In my shoes. Hey guys, so it's Friday. Thank God. God. <laughs> it has been the most ridiculously stressful week. And as I had last mentioned um, in my video when I was changing Maya about all these troubles with this new job, and they, <laughs> believe it or not, even got worse this week. Um, they even started to pile more stuff on me. Um, and just was expecting a lot more of me, it seemed, as the days went by. And it was just, it was too much. And, um, funny enough, on Monday afternoon, I got an email from Margaret's mom. And she said that over the weekend, she had been talking with her husband and with Margaret. And she said that Margaret um, would prefer that I look after her she, as opposed to going to daycare because I give her hugs. <laughs> and I thought, honestly, I thought she was like just saying that just kind of like jokingly or whatever. Um... But I actually ended up talking to her on the phone a couple of days later. And she actually told me that they were saying to Margaret, like, in different ways, like, would you rather have Crystal or go to daycare? And she would say, Crystal. And then they would say, would you rather go to daycare or have Crystal? And she would still say, Crystal. And, like, it didn't matter how many different ways they asked her. She always said Crystal. And she would say, Crystal hugs, Crystal hugs. <laughs> so they asked me if I would like to come back starting in September. Um, and it would be from September. Well, the mom, uh, Margaret's mom has contracts lined up in terms of her working until June of next or until May of next year. And she said she usually doesn't have any trouble finding stuff for May and June as well. So it looks like I could potentially be there until June of next year. Um, and, you know, depending on what happens with her job situation, maybe even a little bit longer than that, which is great. Um, and so um, I think what it's going to be is the first... Um, few months like September till December I think it is I'll be working two full days and one half day per week and then um and the two full days I'm gonna have to be there a lot earlier than I was the last time but to me I don't care because I would much rather be there <laughs> so um then starting in January, her schedule changes. So mine will change to three full days a week. Um, so it'll be nice. I'll be back to having two days off a week. I know like originally when I started working for them, I was, it was the same way. I had three full days with them and two days off. And then her schedule changed. And so then I was two days a week and three days off, but either way works for me. Um, I would much rather be there anyway. So when that came up, I was like, okay, um, that means I have to stick it out with this family until September. And then a light bulb went off in my head. And I remembered how last summer, when I took care of Ben and Kara for the summer, um, when they were on summer vacation, um, that when I finished with them for the summer, Ben's mom had said, hey, you know, next summer, if you are looking for work, feel free to contact me because I'd love for you to come back and watch Ben during the summer. 
And I was like, I gotta go get in touch with her. And so I did. And lo and behold, she said, yes, we totally would need you um, this summer. I would love to have you. And so I let her know that I'm with the family currently and I would be with them until July the 9th. Um, and then I'm going away for a week. And it turns out that it worked out perfectly because Ben was actually going to be at a day camp um, the week that I'm going to the doll show. So they wouldn't have needed me that week anyway. So when I come back from the doll show, I will just go right into starting with them. So needless to say, I set all that up and I was feeling so good that I was able to set that up knowing that I could get out of this crazy situation that's been like horrible for my health and just super stressful. But at the same time, I'm like a super sensitive person and I really take things to heart and I really was feeling horrible about having to tell Nathaniel's family that I'm quitting. Um, and so I knew that, well, as it turned out, like there was two days this week that I didn't get a chance to even see Nathaniel's mom to talk to her about it. So I had to wait until yesterday, which was going to be my performance review, which again, this is like something else that's totally weird. Like I've never had performance reviews with any families, like formal stuff where she had me fill out a self-evaluation form and everything. Like I've never had anything like that. Like it's so formal. It's like, ugh, I don't know. It's just, it was just awkward. Um, and so I figured, well, this was a time that we were able to sit down and really talk. And so I just let her know that I've been struggling in terms of my health. There was a lot of factors that I guess, and, and this, this is like totally true. I really did not think that the walk from the subway to their house would affect me as much as it has. For some reason, I thought it was like a 10 minute walk, 15 minute walk max, but it turns out that it's usually about a 20 minute walk because I have to walk slowly. And so it takes me a long time. There's a lot of hills in the neighborhood. So when I'm going there, there's a point where I'm walking uphill. And when I'm coming back, there's also uphill that I'm walking coming back to the subway and I have been really really struggling with shortness of breath um not just walking to and from there but like when I'm cleaning or just even sometimes even if I'm not doing anything and I'm just sitting I've been getting really short of breath and I've been thinking okay maybe my asthma is flaring up again so I've been taking my puffer almost daily and it's not really doing anything. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, I see the lupus clinic next week and I'm going to definitely be talking to them about it. And then some point in July, I think it might be either beginning of July or towards the end of July, I have a breathing test and I see my lung specialist. I am a little bit concerned because I have I was completely unaware until um, a fellow loopy in the community informed me that methotrexate can mess with your lungs sometimes. And so I'm a little bit concerned about that um, because it has really been, I've been experiencing like increasing amounts of shortness of breath like it's happening more frequently and lasting longer and I don't like that um so that was one thing that I talked to her about and that I felt like you know um the household chores were a lot for me to handle I mean really like I barely got to sit down the whole time that he was napping like the whole two to two and a half hours, I was like constantly on my feet and I maybe got 
10 to 15 minutes at most to sit and like eat my lunch and then I had to do stuff again. Um, so I just basically, I, I didn't want to like complain about certain things and I'm not, there's so much that I don't want to mention obviously for, you know, personal reasons or whatever. But there was a lot of different things that were very stressful about the job. And so anyways, I just basically made it more about my health and how it was impacting my health um, versus like um, complaining about things that they did. <laughs> um, so basically I just made it more about my health and I just said, unfortunately, I just did not feel it was working out, that it just wasn't the right fit for me and that I was resigning and giving my four weeks notice, um, as the contract says I must, which that part kind of sucks because it's going to be kind of awkward the next four weeks and it's still, you know, it's a lot for me to do um, and handle. And But at least I know that when I finish, I can go and relax and enjoy the doll show and just take that time to recuperate from all of this and relax and everything. And I'm so excited because I'm going to get to meet some people that I'm so excited to meet and um, so and then I know that I'm coming back to a job that is the right fit for me and a family that you know appreciates me and that I feel comfortable um, working in so um, that's what's happening and as it so turns out um, they weren't a hundred percent sure I was the right fit for them either. And they apparently had started looking for someone else about a week ago. <laughs> so, um, so it's the way it, it's just the way it was probably supposed to turn out. This was basically just, I guess, a job to tie me over until I could get back to my other families. And... You know, when God closes one door, he opens another and he sure opened it fast for me. And I'm so grateful for that because, I mean, it was just pure luck. Um, you know, Margaret's mom even said it was, it was, I was so like lucky that I contacted them when I did because they were actually just starting to think about child care for September and whether or not they wanted to leave her in daycare or hire someone and I don't know if they would have contacted me on on their own because they probably thought that I had already found um, another job since they had been contacted as a reference obviously and so you know they probably didn't think I was available and they wouldn't have contacted me had I not contacted them and Riley's on my lap and his tail's in my face sit down please sit 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 <laughs> sit down <laughs> oh Riley um yeah so <laughs> uh it just it it just all has fallen into place and it's and it's worked the way it's worked I mean, I've never ever um, encountered this before. I've never had to quit a nanny job. Um, usually they've always worked out just fine and they've been exactly what I was needing and looking for, but this just physically, it's just, and mentally too, just has been a draining stressful experience and I just didn't like the fact that I was going to work feeling like I was walking on eggshells the whole time it just wasn't good for my health and this week especially because I was so nervous about having to tell them that I was leaving that I literally felt sick all week I barely was eating because my stomach felt so sick like 
I would start eating something and I just couldn't finish it. Like I just, my appetite was shot. Like that's just how I am. Like I tend to build things up in my head expecting like the absolute worst. And it ended up not being that bad at all. Like I could tell she was kind of surprised and shocked. And I'm sure it's, you know, a little stressful for her thinking that they have to find someone else. But she didn't freak out on me. Like, she was okay and she was professional and I was professional. And it, it went fine. Like, it was not... I just had it built up in my head that she was just going to, like, be so mad at me. And I don't know. I just thought it was going to be, like, this big ordeal. And I felt so sick all week. So... Now the tension is off and I'm feeling a little bit better today and I'm just trying to like take it easy and recuperate from the week. So um, so that's what's been happening and I'm just happy that I, I'm so grateful that I've been invited back by these other families that it worked out that I can go back to them and I am so anxious to see Margaret. Um, I haven't seen her since the end of March and um, we're planning to arrange a visit after I get back from the doll show um, because her mom is off for July and August. So um, we're going to plan a visit. And her mom told me that Margaret is a real chatterbox now. Like she talks like a lot. So I'm excited to see that because when I left she was just starting to talk and say you know more words a little bit more every day so I'm really anxious to hear her as a chatterbox that'll be really fun um so I'm I'm looking forward to September and and the summer because it'll be nice it'll be three hours every morning with Ben and then the rest of my day is free so that'll be a nice break too after all of this stress so I'll be nice and ready to go in September and I hope that in the meantime I will get this jaw situation taken care of and that <laughs> Riley your tail is in the way Riley <laughs> um I just hope that the jaw situation will be cleared up by September and that my, this breathing problem will get figured out. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. So, um, I hope I'll be okay on the trip. Like I'll have to really pace myself and just take it easy. And I'm actually really glad that I've booked extra days this time. Um, usually I just go the day before the show opens and then it's like a whirlwind of activities for three days and then I go home. This time I'm going to have like almost two full days before the show opens to just take it easy and relax. And so it'll be nice because I think I'll be able to pace myself a little bit more on the trip. And so hopefully, you know, when I come back, I won't be like all exhausted and everything from it. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to see everyone and see all the artists and pick up Pixie in person. And I, I just, it's been awesome. And I just wanted to thank everyone that has listened to all my stresses and fears this this past week um I've, I've had a lot of wonderful online friends that have really helped me feel better about my decision and have just really helped me get through all of that so i'm really really thankful for that as well um you guys know who you are so yeah, it's just been a relaxing day so far this morning. I Skyped with Yvonne, my little tulip. It was lots of fun. We got our babies uh, out. I had Savannah. She had Willow. And so we had a nice chat. And then I gave my grandmother a call because I haven't talked to her in a while. And I wanted to kind of fill her in on what's been going on with me and see how she's been. She's dealing with um, problems with her shoulder and her back at the moment. Um, 
and she's she deals with a lot of breathing problems too. She has um, ex, ex, eczema. Um, I don't know if that's what it's called. No, eczema is like the skin condition. Emphysema. Emphysema. She has emphysema. Um, so she has a lot of breathing problems and she's finding it harder to walk places too so she can relate. And uh, yeah, so it was nice. I got to chat with her as well and catch up with her. And now I'm catching up with you guys. And I am now going to eat lunch. And then after lunch, I'm going to start rooting. Um, I have not had a chance to root at all this week just because I've been so tense and stressed that by the time I got home every night, I was so exhausted and fatigued and in pain and you know what stress can do to the body especially when you have lupus it's even worse so I just would come home and crash and uh so this weekend I'm gonna well the rest of today and this weekend I'm really gonna try to get a lot of rooting in um because I really want to try and get this doll finished this month for sure um so yeah that's basically my little update this little guy here is lapping up all the attention he really likes to come up on my lap now when i'm sitting at the computer hey buddy he's my good boy hmm? you're my little baby yes you are and you're purring so much yes so yeah, I guess that's about it. I don't think there's really much else to tell you guys. Just, um, just, I just hope that the next few weeks will go by quickly for me. And I hope that, I don't know, I just hope that we can continue to work amicably, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say about that. So I just hope it goes okay. Um, I'll be seeing Nathaniel's dad first thing Monday when I go. So I don't know what he'll have to say about the situation, but it is what it is. And I really feel like it's probably for the best that I was able to leave now as opposed to leave in August. Um, because the longer I stay, the more attached to me Nathaniel would get as well. So I feel like it's best that I leave now as opposed to wait until August because the fact of the matter is I was going to leave because I definitely want to go back to um, Margaret's family. So, yeah, that's it. And I have some news as well about the doll show and something that I'm going to be doing there, but I will make that in a separate video because this video is already way too long, I'm sure. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for my little announcement with the doll show. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Say bye. Riley, say bye to everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> right? Are you a good boy? You don't know what to say, huh? You look scared. Why do you look scared? Oh. <laughs> All right, well... Bye guys, we'll see you next time. Oh, I got some rooting done. Right now it's wet, but that's it so far. I still have a long way to go. <laughs> um, the next section I have to do, you can see that line there. It's a pretty small section, so that one should, I should be able to do quick. So I'm hoping tomorrow I can get at least that section and maybe this whole section here finished.